Hello ladies and gents, this is Kano from the Gamer Section, back with another review. For today's review is on Loot River for the Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC. Inspired by the Dark Souls series along with a mix of Tetris, Loot River is a dungeon crawler while fighting different enemies to get from point A to point B. Graphically, Loot River looks okay. It has a 16-bit style character and enemies that reminds me of the games in the past from the original Nintendo to the Sega Genesis games. The environment is a little bit modern, but most of the game have that classic feel to it. The music is really cool when going through different sections of the game. Playing Loot River is like playing the Dark Souls style of Legend of Zelda linked to the past in a way with a mix of Tetris. Each time you die in the game, you basically lose most of the things you earn in the game, including the weapons, the orbs, and the money you made. Even if you level up, you will start back from square one. There are multiple ways to kill enemies in the game. There was one moment where I moved from one square to another and set a square on fire with the enemies in it. The movement is different because you are mainly on water, but you move each block with the right analog stick to get to each section of the game. The navigation in the game is unique because there are thousands of movements in the game in a similar dungeon fashion, meaning multiple dungeons, but almost the same style in a way. There are many abilities in the game, but it's a lot to unlock along with different weapons, powers, and multiple styles. It also has an RPG element to where you level up through the experience points and stuff. There were a few bugs in the game that had the game stuttering when getting to each block that I was coming across. The gameplay felt a bit stagnant in the game to the point where I went to kill some of the enemies. The buttons was a little bit slow to respond. Another part of the gameplay is the movement of the character. If I tilted the left analog stick a little bit, the character moves more than I should. The storytelling felt like it really wasn't any storytelling in the game. Even though I jumped right into the game, it didn't give me who the character was. For that, I give Goot River a 4 out of 5. For more on the latest in gaming, check us out at the Gamer section on YouTube. Be sure to like, comment, and turn on your post notification bells for when we drop our next videos.